Welcome back to the Eclipse Debate Show, presented by Bullet Train. I'm Scott Jagow, editor of The Pollock Report, along with Ray Pollock. Ray, we're just one day away from finding out who's going to win the 2014 Eclipse Awards, including Horse of the Year, where there are three finalists, Bayern, California Chrome, and Main Sequence. Now, at the end of the year, the NTRA poll of journalists, about 50 people, uh, voted for Main Sequence. Then on our website, roughly 2,000 readers chimed in, and overwhelmingly, they chose California Chrome. It's going to be interesting. Who do you think it's going to be? Well, I hate to say that I agree with 50 journalists, but I agree with 50 journalists, or at least the ones that voted for Main Sequence. Uh, he was four for four in grade one races. He got a late start because of physical setback. But the, the race that really won me over was the Breeders' Cup turf. Visually, it was very impressive. And the horse he beat, Flintshire, came into the race off a second place finish in the Arc de Triomphe to Trev, a really nice mare. And then after the Breeders' Cup, Flintshire went to Hong Kong and he won the Hong Kong Vaz, an important international group one race over there. So, you know, that legitimized the Breeders' Cup turf and it made main sequence that much more impressive to me. Not much flaw there in that argument, except what did he beat earlier in the year? I will grant you that. The, the, the fields for the other three races he won were not as deep. This has not been a, a great year for turf horses going long. And, uh, you know, th there's a flaw. In it. You can make a flaw in every argument for every horse, I think. Yeah, I think especially that argument. Who did they beat on, on this particular day? And that, that goes from my pick. Not a popular choice. He's not one of the finalists. I voted for shared belief. Now, I gave California Chrome, the respect I thought he deserved by what he did in the three-year-old division. I voted him three-year-old champion, but then I started over with Horse of the Year, and I looked at what Shared Belief did, running against older horses several times, winning two races against older, and he goes into the Breeders' Cup Classic as a deserving favorite. They attempted to railroad him out of the awesome against stakes, and he overcame that. He wasn't going to overcome what happened to him in the Classic. And if your uh, voters are docking Byron for what he did in that race, you have to elevate shared belief then. That was his one loss on the season, and I think he had a huge excuse. If he wins that race, he's going to be horse of the year, and I believe you got to take that into account here. Well, wait, wait a minute. Now, didn't you didn't two days ago just say that the older horse division was really weak this year? So you, you pulled out your Etch-A-Sketch, and you, you shook it up, and you forgot about what you said two days ago, and you're starting over saying his shared belief be, beat older horses. So... I, I'm not so sure that that argument holds up real well unless, you know, unless you're voting with an edge of sketch. So. Yeah, I, 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 okay, okay. But you also said that who did California Chrome beat? And, main, and we just talked about who did main sequence beat. The fact that he ran against older was, was a factor. Uh, it was in his corner. And I also, just by the eyeball test, I just like what I saw. And we'll see in 2015 how, how things turn out. It's going to be interesting. Well, they're all coming back. That's the good news. And, and it won't be much longer before we find out who the 2014 Horse of the Year. Saturday night, about 1030 Eastern from Gulfstream Park, they'll make the announcement. And follow the Pollock Report throughout the evening for updates. Thanks to Bullet Train for making this series possible and you for joining in throughout the week. Uh, this has been the Eclipse Debate Show presented by Bullet Train. Bullet Train.